Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about IPsec. Now IPsec is a set of protocols for security at the network layer of the OSI model. The IP stands for Internet Protocol, which is what the Internet uses to route data, which is by using IP addresses, and the SEC stands for Secure, which is exactly what IPsec does. It secures the data when communication is happening between two points over a network, and it does this by adding encryption and authentication. IPsec is also the protocol that is commonly used by businesses to create VPNs. When devices communicate over a public network, such as the Internet, the data that is being exchanged is sent in clear text, which means that anyone, as long as they know what they're doing, can steal the data. Now normally this would not be a big deal if they were just sending non-sensitive information. But if they were sending sensitive information, such as credit card or other personal information, then this would be a major problem. IPsec was developed to ensure that the data cannot be stolen by protecting the data while it's being transferred over the internet. And it does this by authentication and making sure that the data is impossible to read by using encryption algorithms to scramble the data that's being transferred. The way IPsec works is by creating secure tunnels to protect the data during transfer. And this is done in two phases using a protocol called IKE, or Internet Key Exchange. The first phase is where the two sites will identify each other and negotiate parameters for authentication and encryption methods. So this is the first tunnel that is used to protect the negotiation process. The next phase is phase two of IKE. This phase is the creation of the IPsec tunnel. And it's in this tunnel where the data is going to be exchanged between the two sites. But before the data is sent, it needs to be protected. And this can be done by using a couple of different protocols. One is called AH or authentication header. This protocol offers authentication and integrity, but it doesn't do any encryption. And because it doesn't offer any encryption, the other protocol called ESP or encapsulating security payload is the better of the two protocols. ESP does all three. It offers authentication, integrity, and encryption. Hey guys, if you're watching my videos, you're obviously interested in learning. That's why I want to tell you about Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning center where you can learn and master concepts in as little as 15 minutes per day. With thousands of lessons to choose from, their interactive lessons make concepts feel intuitive, so even complex ideas are easy to understand. And their real-time feedback and simple explanations make learning efficient. Whether you're a complete beginner or ready to dive into machine learning and beyond, Brilliant makes it easy to level up fast with fun, bite-sized lessons, whether you're into engineering, computer science, data analysis, or even math. Now, me personally, I'm taking the computer science and programming course. And after completing my first four lessons, I was pleasantly surprised. The lessons are truly simple and, more importantly, interactive. So you're not just reading or memorizing, but they teach you how to think and to problem solve. I actually find myself a little addictive going through these little lessons. So to try everything that Brilliant has to offer, free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash power cert or click the link in the description, and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. In order to use IPsec, both sender and receiver must share a public or private key. This key is what locks and unlocks the encrypted data as it travels across a network. This ensures that the data cannot be read or tampered with. So when this site sends data to the other site, It'll use the key to encrypt or, in simple terms, lock the data, and then as the data travels across the internet, the receiver will use the key to unlock or decrypt the data so it can be read. IPsec operates in two different modes, transport and tunnel mode. When data is sent across a network, the data is not sent in one chunk. It's sent in smaller chunks called packets. These packets have an IP header, TCP header, and a payload. The IP and TCP headers contain information such as the source and destination IP address, port and sequence numbers, and so on. And the payload contains the actual data. 
So right now, this IP packet has no security. The data is in clear text. But if we were to add security to this packet with IPsec using transport mode, an ESP header, trailer, and authenticator gets added to the original packet. And the TCP header, payload, and ESP trailer are all encrypted. Transport mode is used when two devices, such as two computers, connect over the public internet. And in tunnel mode, a new IP header gets attached to the packet, and in addition to the TCP header, payload, and ESP trailer, the IP header also gets encrypted, so it provides even more security than transport mode. Tunnel mode is used when two sites, such as two businesses, are connected over the public internet using a VPN. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.